दिस इज माई यूजर इंटरफेस दैट इज डिवाइस स्टूडियो दैट इज बेसिकली यूजर इंटरफेस फॉर नैन ऑडिकल एंड रेस्क्यू सॉफ्टवेयर सो आई वुड लाइक टू क्लिक ऑन फाइल एंड इन द फाइल यू कैन गो इन टू द इम्पोर्ट इन इम्पोर्ट ऑप्शन देर आर टू ऑप्शन आर अवेलेबल सो फ्राम हियर यू कैन इम्पोर्ट द मटेरियल आई दर फ्राम द लोकल डेटा बेस आर फ्राम द ऑनलाइन डेटा बेस सो सिंपली आई एम सेलेक्ट इन दिस इम्पोर्ट लोकल एंड हियर यू कैन सी दिस इज द मटेरियल डायरेक्टरी ऑफ दिस सॉफ्टवेयर दिस इज द जीरो डी मटेरियल सम मॉलिक्यूल एम आर फस एंड क्रिस्टलाइन इज देयर एंड दिस इज द वन डी मटेरियल वेयर यू कैन सी दिस इज द नैनो ट्यूब डिफरेंट कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ क्रॉल वैक्टर्स एंड दिस इज द टू डी मटेरियल वेयर यू कैन सी सम नोवेल्टी मटेरियल एंड ग्रेफिन मटेरियल इज देयर दिस इज द थ्री डी मटेरियल वेयर यू कैन सी कंडक्टर इंसुलेटर लेयर मटेरियल मैग्नेटिक मटेरियल मेटल ऑक्साइड नोवेल्टी मटेरियल एंड सेमी कंडक्टर मटेरियल इज देयर दिस इज द कंडक्टर प्योर मेटल एंड दिस इज द प्योर मेटल दिस इज द इंसुलेटर वेयर यू कैन सी दिस इज द डायमंड एम जी सी एल टू एंड दिस इज द लेयर मटेरियल दिस इज द मैग्नेटिक मटेरियल एंड दिस इज द मेटल ऑक्साइड This is the novelty material. Some parasky topological insulator, and this is the semiconductor. So the conclusion is all about that. This is the material database of this software. So I would like to import gold datum. So simply I am click on the 3D material, go into the conductor, select pure metals, and from here you can select the gold datums. Here you can see the gold datum has been. selected so i am going to build the gold datum so simply you can click on the build file and you can redefine your crystal i would like to click on the face center cubic structure and click on the preview options and go into the build this is the face center cubic structure of this gold datum and if you want to make a super cell of this structure so simply you can click on the build file and go into the redefine crystal and re redefine the direct in the direction of a two times and same in the direction of b that is two times and four times in the direction of this is the 3d viewer from here you can view like x y view z z view y z view y x view and z x view so this is the x y view of this super cell gold datum if you want to delete some undesired atom so simply you can draw the rectangle and delete click on the delete option again you can draw the rectangle and you can click on the delete option again you can go into the 3d viewer and you can click on the z x view and if you want to delete some more items so simply you can select and you can deselect these items if you want to create a some vacuum inside this unit cell so simply you can go into the convert to crystal option and 20 time in the direction of a and 20 times in the direction of b you can see the vacuum has been created and you can click on the build if you want to make it in center so simply you can click on the center option and click center along a and center along b if you want to make a mirror of this atoms so simply you can select all these atoms and click on the mirror atoms here you can see this is the normal vector x y z x y x z y z so simply i am selecting x y and you can define the distance and you can copy this checkbox and apply you can see the mirror has been created again you can go into the convert to molecule options and increase the molecule in the direction vacuum in the direction of c and you can click on the build option If you want to make a molecular waste device structure, so simply you can select import the molecule. So I am going to import from local database zero D material, and this is the molecule. And I am selecting this phenol molecule. So this is the phenol molecule. If you want to make a biphenol molecular structure, so simply you can select all these atoms. 
you can control C and you can control V inside this. If you want to remove this unit cell, so simply you can go into the convert to molecule option and remove the unit cell. If you want to make a di distance between these two structures, so simply you can select this all items and you can click on the move option. From here you can define translating along XYZ unit cell vector and screen view. So I am selecting the screen view and you can also define the distance. If you want to rotate this atom, so simply you can select all these atoms and you can go into the rotate atom. From here you can define the angle 90 degree and you can click on the Z direction. And if you want to rotate 45 degree in the direction of X axis, so you can define the angle 45 and click on the X axis. And again, if you want to rotate this atom, so simply you can select all these atoms and you can go into the rotate atom. Similarly, you can define the angle. If you want to rotate it in 45 degree in the direction of Z, so similarly you can select this Z axis. You can remove these two items, you can select and you can click on the delete options. If you want to remove some distance between these two items, so you can select these items and you can click on this move items like that. If you want to make an interconnection between these two items, so simply you can go into the recalculate linker one. So the bond will be automatically created. So you can see the interconnection between these two atoms has been created. You can select all these atoms, control C and you can go into the this structure and control V inside whole this structure. You can select all this molecular structure and go into the center position. Here you can see, if you want to rotate this atom, so simply you can select and go into the rotate option. And you can define the angle. And if you want to make add a new atom between these two atoms, so simply you can select these atoms and click on the add a new atoms. Similarly, here you can also select these two atoms and click on the add a new atom. If you want to change these atoms from another atom, so simply you can select and you can click on the replace atoms. From the periodic table option, you can select any atoms. So I am clicking on the nitrogen atoms and click on OK you can see the nitrogen atom has been replaced. If you want to make an inter interconnection between these three atoms, so simply you can select and you can go into the recalculate linker one. So the atom has been re interconnected between these three atoms. You can go into the convert to device option and here you can see you can define left electrode, right electrode, bottom electrode, top electrode, front electrode, back electrode. Since there is two electrode is there left and right so you can define two electrode left one and this one is right electrode. Also you can change the value of electrode and you can click on the preview option. and you can click on the build.
दिस इज द टू प्रूफ बाई फिनाइल डिवाइस स्ट्रक्चर दैट हैज बीन सिमुलेटेड and if you want to calculate the proper electronic transfer property of this structure so simply you can go into the simulator and click on the nanodical and you can click on the scf calculation from the scf calculation you can also define the electron temperature energy cut off exchange correlation lda zga you can also define the k point sampling and in the meantime you can also define the contour integral and this is the electrode you can also define the electrode voltage electron temperature this is for the left electrode and this is for the right electrode and you can also define the electrician control density matrix hamilton matrix total energy and you can also define the spin tonics application like collinear spin general spin and you can click on the generate file in the project window you can see the scf input for the device left electrode and right electrode has been generated and this is the project property explorer where you can see the property of your whole structure are either single atom you can see the property if you want to run this structure so simply first you need to run the scf input you can right click on the scf input and you can click on the run options and in the run option you can also define the number of parallel core like 5 5 core 10 core 15 core you can define up to 128 core so there is no limitation of core you can click on the run file to run the program in the bottom of the page you can see this is the job manager where you can see your project has been in the running condition similarly you can also run the right electrode also you can run the central part in the meantime you can also define the analysis part here you can see this is the density of state effective potential total energy scattering state transmission photo current iv curve charge electron density potential conductance thermoelectric current cv coefficient this is for the device part and this is for the left electrode part so from here you can select what type of analysis you want to so from this structure so simply you can select this is the density of state effective potential transmission this one is the potential conductance thermoelectric and this is the cv coefficient and you can click on the generate file since this calculation will take some time so i have created earlier this project so simply you can so go into the file option and click on the open your existing project this is the project that i have created earlier you can rotate like this and this is the property of this structure this is the total electron density you can right click and show view you can also show the 3d view 2d view 1d view so this is the 3d view of total electron density this one is the 2d view along x axis y axis and z axis and this is the stereoscopic display this is the 1d view along x y plane y z plane and x z plane and if you want to export your raw data so similarly you can click on the export option 
and from here like in what format you want to export your raw data like png jpg bmp pdf text so similarly you can select and you can export easily this is the effective potential this is the 3d view 2d view and this is the 1d view along xy plane yz plane xz plane this is the transmission coefficient with respect to energy if you want to zoom particular particular point so you can also zoom and this is the seaback coefficient with respect to temperature and with respect to chemical potential energy and you can also define the temperature like that and this is the density of state so thank you for watching this video